Hello fellow engineers, I'm playing a sponsored game this time. So not what's happened recently, it's not intentional, but every new game I seem to play is made by a single person, which, I don't know, it's just absolutely mind-blowing. This one is made by Tobias Springer. And obviously I don't really do sponsored videos unless it's a game that I really think you guys might like. And this one really is cool. It's called Shapes.io. Now, the pronunciation. I kind of already did a video where I pronounced this Shapes. <laughs> Kind of thought it was weird when I was watching the video back and I was like, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna go double check and just make sure this is right. Yep, it's shapes, not shape as shapes. <laughs> I'm a numbers guy. Words, they're not for me. Anyway, we'll get right into it. So essentially this is a top-down like factory conveyor belt simulator. Right, so essentially you've got dotted around this huge ass map. Like it's I spent like 10 minutes scrolling earlier. I think it's infinite. I don't think it links up. Anyway, let, uh, let me get back. Where are we? There we are. There we are. There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff. But we start off with the basics. Essentially, it's all shapes and colors. So we got a little tutorial down here. It says, grab this, which is kind of like your mining sort of extractor. Bung that on a shape and shapes will start coming out if you wang a conveyor belt there. Can you see all of these shapes are coming up? All right, so essentially we just draw our conveyor belt all the way to this hub thing in the middle. And you'll see as more of these shapes come in, our number goes up. We've got to get 40 to get to the next level. So what we'll do, we'll do a few more. You can rotate all of these. So you can come out this sort of angle and go back up. So we've got four lanes going in, which should stack up in no time. Right, so we've leveled up and we've just unlocked a new bit of equipment. So this one is the cutter. So this cuts things, surprisingly. Uh, but you've got to kind of note what direction things are cut in. So for example, if I wang this here, circles go in, and then if I just put another load of conveyors there, you'll see coming out the other side are the semicircles. But note they're actually cut in the direction that it entered. We only want the left-handed semicircles going in. So I don't really care about this side. So what you can do, rather than having all this conveyor belt taking up space, because if we just had no conveyor belt coming out this side, you'll slowly start to see, there you go, we start to get a build up. That's literally because this side is like clogged up. So you need to bung either conveyor belt as I had before, or you can use this, which is a little trash can. And I'll just get rid of all the right-handed side ones that we don't actually want. And what we'll do, we'll add a few more of these in. So if I try and make some space, so what I can do, so what I can do is just go around this. And that allows me to put another cutter in there, another bin there. And then we got two lines of things going in there, pretty much done. So that's nearly on 40, so I'll leave that just for now. Level two completed. This level gave no reward, but the next one will. P.S. Don't destroy your existing factory. You need all those shapes again to unlock upgrades. So hopefully I can explain how the upgrades work. So this is kind of the key to getting stuff going a bit quicker. If we look at this one, because I kept those circles going, we only needed 150 to get our first upgrade. And that doubles the speed of all these things. And obviously our belts, that's pretty important. So I'll upgrade that. So for the next one, we need 360 normal circles. So we've got to keep normal circles going in. And we need a shit ton of semicircle bottom pieces. And we can't make those yet, and I'll explain why in the next little bit. So our hub is asking for for some squares. So we'll just wang a load of squares. And can you see how quick those conveyors are moving now? We are raking it in. Well, in a shape sort of sense. Because we need 100, I'm going to go a bit mental. Oh, and note as well, conveyors, they go in one direction. So you need to actually draw it the direction you want them to go. Oh, yes. We are level three now, and we've unlocked what I think is probably the most, well, the most useful item, shall we say. So this is called the balancer. And now, essentially, this allows you to put two things back into one. Because you notice this with the cutters, one goes in, but two comes out. With these, you can you can do it evenly. It's, it says two in, two out, but you can have two go in and one come out, or one go in, two go out. The important thing here is it evenly distributes everything. So what we've got to do, let's just have a look. So we still need squares to get our extraction up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take these ones that are coming out this side. We're going to go from up here. Just give ourselves a bit of room. All right, so we've put a cutter on. We want this side to come out. 
blocks, they are right handed squares and that could be a bin. So then we can do another one. So I'll do that one there. And then what I can do here to save a bit of room is we can put our balancer in. And now everything should end up down on this conveyor belt. So we got two come in, two come straight out. So now we're kind of space saving. And I love space saving. Meanwhile, our squares are still going in. So we've got a little indicator up here, a little notification. So if we go in, we've got enough to double our extraction speed. So we'll do that. And now we're mining stuff twice as fast out of all these extraction points. So we need a crap load of squares and a crap load of uh, quarter circles. What are they called? Semicircles, quarter circles. I don't know, but there's level four. So now we've got the rotator. So this is how we can turn our, go away key bindings. So this is how, as I said earlier, we can turn our semicircles into stuff that's a bit more useful. So I believe from our thing, we want bottom semicircles only. So that's the top one. So that means I need two more spins. So now as our semicircle goes through all of these, there you go, it comes out and now it's on the bottom. So if you look at our thing, we need 1.2 thousand of those. <laughs> so actually now, because we have the spinner, we can get rid of this bin. And what we can do, we can rotate this. So that's now a bottom one. And if we want to save some room, we can just wang those back in. There you go, now this conveyor belt has got twice as many all bottom ones. What I'll do at the same time, I'm going to work on this top semicircle. So it's the top right semicircle. Let's just delete all this a bit. Right, so we want to spin these so they go to the top. Right, so now they're to the top. And we need to split them again. So if we use the splitter, obviously the splitter needs to go up there. So I'm going to need another bit of conveyor belt just to get them up there. And obviously now we're clogged because of this end, so we can't see what that is. So just a quick way I can quickly delete these. So out the cutter, we have a top left and a top right. And we only want the top right. So I'm going to put two spinners. All right, so let's just check we've got the right. So top right, top right. Excellent. So if we wang those straight ahead, we've got all of our top rights coming through. Now, what I'm going to do with this bin area going to get rid of that and put this into here and we're going to make this actually what we want so our top spinners so that's going to need three spins to three so now we've started delivering those so that's awesome i'm gonna get rid of this one and just turn that into another we want to cut it we want to end up back on the same ones but we need to do some spinning excellent so now this top line we've got loads of top semicircles coming through now this game is super addictive, like I've been playing this for hours already and I've like just started this new level again and I'm already getting getting the addiction buzz. And yeah, we're only at the very early stages yet, so we've got all these colours, we're going to have some proper weird shapes coming up. Yeah, so if we get down here, you can see we've got like these weird sort of star things. And then you can mix all of those shapes, so... This one looks like a fish. It's not actually a fish. It's a half a semicircle and half a star. You got half circle, half square, and yeah, all sorts. Every combination as well. So it gets, you can imagine, it gets proper confusing. Anyway, back to our hub. So let's try and just speed this up a little bit and do one more out this end. And now we've just got top semicircles going in and we've completed that in no time. So level five, now it gets a bit more well, a bit easier to save space, shall we say. So these are tunnels, so they're pretty simple. If you played Factorio, it's exactly the same. Uh, luckily we can leave that because we've already started building the top right semicircle. Let's just show you how the tunnels work. Say we had something crossing along here, so we had another conveyor belt like that. You take your conveyor belt, make sure it's pointing the right direction, click once, click again, and it goes under there and straight through. Excellent. But as we don't actually need that, I'm going to delete. Actually no, no, I'll leave that there and I'll prep something that I know is going to happen at some point. We're going to want coloured circles. So we're going to take these over here ready. Actually for now I'll just take them straight in. So we've just got more circles going in because that's all good. And at some point we'll be able to make them red which is what these blobs are for. And we're there, level 6 is completed. So now we've got the painter. So now we can start adding some colours. 
And thankfully, Tobias, the developer, he's added a colorblind mode, so that's good if you can't see your colors very easily. Right, so as I said before, I kind of preempted this. So what I can do, my circles are coming along this conveyor belt, so I can quickly just bung a little bit of that there. Right, so one thing I did kind of forget, I guess, <laughs> is the layout for these painters. It's left goes in and the shape comes in the back. So what I'm gonna have to do is take this on a bit of a joyride. So we'll go along here and I'll do a tunnel underneath. So from there, we will come up there and then we'll just go around the back. It's not the best solution, <laughs> but now we've got red circles. So we've got red coming in there. We've got circles coming in the back, sorted. Now the only downside to this is our painter is quite slow. So what I'll do, now I've got circles over this side, which are quite easy to get hold of. I'm gonna take these away a bit. So if I put them there and I've got the same coming out, but then I've got another load coming out over here. So if I put this there, I'm gonna go round like that. And then we got two loads of red circles. Annoyingly, the red stuff is all kind of on the wrong side. But what I'm gonna do, it's got a big old build up over here. So I'm gonna take these and then I'll just rearrange this area to go up into you, one way out, back over there. And then the other load will come in over here. Now I can use the painter the right way around. So I can actually bung a painter straight away like that, sorted. I probably want to start going underground straight away just to keep a bit of space. So I'll go to there, do a bit of a turn and go back underground. Right, and we're probably at the limit for this circle bit now, because they're not backing up anymore. So if I want to add to this, I'm going to have to do another bit of extracting. So I'll come out that end, and I'll bung an extractor there, painter there, and I'll do similar to what I did before. It's back underground, and then I'll merge these back in there. And what I'm going to do to just get a few more is split those there, Another painter there. Oh, and now we've got semicircles. Oops, that's not meant to be a cutter. That was meant to be one of those. <laughs> there we go. See, very easy to uh, not think about stuff. All right, so hopefully that's the last of these semicircles now. There we go, back to circles. There we go, that's going up a bit more nice now. Right, we'll see how we're getting on with our other, other goals. So we're nearly there with the bottom semicircles. That's good. Top right one's not too bad. Okay, so we need to look at doing some diamonds. Now I did see some of these, didn't I? Quite a way away, there's some of there. All right, so let's just start then, getting some of these. I'm gonna try and do this nice and simply. And yeah, so it looks like there's plenty of space that I can fit these onto the same conveyor belt, which is excellent. Let's delete all of those. Now let's wang that all the way through. <laughs> right, so our main sort of trouble now is there aren't too many ways into this. I'm pretty sure I can get this one out. The trouble is these tunnels, they only go so far. So yeah, we can't actually reach to there. We can go to that one. So I'll have to tunnel from there to there, and then tunnel from there to there. So these diamonds are gonna wanna take them Oh, shit, it out. Down this one. Into there, sorted. So now we can slowly leave that one doing that while we focus on our other goals. So we can upgrade these now, excellent. So our belts are really quick. We've got the bottom semis going. I'm gonna need some purple circles. All right, so we can actually neaten up all this paint malarkey because my last upgrade was, I can now press T to swap what side they're on. So none of this craziness that I've got at the moment. So now we've got our circles doing our things and we don't have to worry. So I'm gonna get rid of that as well and just do a straight through. Just so we can see our lovely pyramid, pyramid? Star things going in. Okay, okay, so now we need to get our next level. Blue half circles. So we want some blue. Okay, so what I'm tempted to do, because we've got circles here, is just bring this blue up. So, two of them straight onto the same conveyor, all the way up. Right, so this one over here, we have 
I know. I'm gonna because this is backing up now. I've noticed. So I'm gonna delete that. Merge those two together. There you go. So I reckon then, if we split those there, so we got that coming in. Let's take that up here, all the way up to there. We'll bung a painter that way with a tunnel, and we'll get our blue in there that way. So now we've got our blue circles coming out here, but we've got no way to get them on. However, I can, so I can do that and then use one of these to just merge the two together. So now we've got the two sort of things coming in. And one of my last unlocks was these spinners. I can now tidy these way up. So rather than having to use three, I can delete those and I can just use T. So T allows me to just change what direction they go. That's exactly what the three were doing before. But now it's just one tile, so we can save a lot of room. And I might just to get this a bit neater. I'm just going to start tidying all this up. Just trying to make some space. Alright, so we got blue circles going in, which we don't need. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> oh, we finally stacked up our diamonds. So let's unlock that. Excellent. Alright, so we've got our right-sided things all working here. So let's bring some blue down. And we'll go straight through the green. We don't care about you, green. Uh, hang on. Hang on, I'm not done. Oops, I forgot to put a painter in. <laughs> Alright, so painter. Spin it around. So we got those going in. That will come out. Alright, so now we should have the blue right-sided half squares. <laughs> Rectangles? Half squares. Alright, so this is all backing up now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a load of painters in just to try and deal with this. So we have a painter there. We need one of those to take that. God damn, this game is really addictive. Alright, let's just get that away. Now we can do another painting station. So we do the same thing, split it there, take that over. And then we can split this. Well, we can split it back there. And then just take a tunnel underneath. Boing, boing. Merge those back as one. Tunnel underneath. And merge those together. So now we've got way more going in there. And what I'm going to try and do is just do a few more of this sort of situation. The key to this game is like space saving and I am terrible at it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if I put that there I can do a splitter there. You can say go that way and then do a tunnel. Now we've got paint coming into this one and then I just need to split this. So what I'll do I'll move that back one like that and then I'll split again there and then I can literally Make them merge straight away. Oh yes! Right, let's see what we unlocked back then. So the extraction is now four times faster. Damn! Nice. We are getting automated now. Oh, and we're nearly there, just a hundred more. Do any of these goals need them? Yes. So we're going to keep doing those. Mixing and painting by three. We really need that because that's kind of the slowest process. Save space, take it up and into that way. Under there. Oh, and we just about made it back in. But I need another spinner. Oh, level eight. There we go. So now we can mix colors. So two different colors go in, different one comes out, which is how I get that purple circle. So we'll leave those blues for now. Ah, oh, and we need purple circles anyway, so excellent. I know we've got a lot of red circles going on, so we need to add blue to it. So we've got some blue here. Wang a colour mixer in. So now they should come up purple, there you go. And if I take this under there, we've got our circles, so we can do our painter. And yeah, if we bung it there, now we've got purple circles. There it is. There it goes. Oh, this is clogged up. Why is that clogged up? Oh, so that's clogged up because there's a bit of paint there. So you've got to be careful when you make your changes that you don't suddenly get paint clogging up in here because it won't go through. All right, so I'm going to get some of these circles out just by doing that and going under with a tunnel. So now I've got some circles there. I'm going to take some of the purples away. I'm going to bung a painter there. 
I'm gonna wrap this round and back in. So now we should have purple circles coming out. Sweet. So that's doubled how many we've got. Although it looks like we could do with a few more circles getting in there. So let's up our output. We can do that. So now we've got a crap load of them coming in and they're all backing up now. So it looks like we're now waiting on the paint, really. Right, so while I've been upping the old purple circle thing, we've finally upgraded the mixing and painting. That will be three times quicker. So hopefully these, there we go. Can you see how much quicker these are coming out now? They are absolutely flying. So we should get to level 10 in no time. What I like about this game is you can kind of just leave your main sort of area doing something. And then you can come over here and be like, right, I want some purple bloody circles. So I'm going to grab some of those. Grab some of those. I'm going to make purple. I'm going to do that. And I'm going to put the circles in the back of it. And I'm going to take these all the way back to my base. And then just like that, I only took a few minutes. I've taken advantage of over here. And I'm wanging in the old circles and there we go level nine completed you've unlocked a compact variant so basically you know this balancer i had that was so this thing i keep calling a spitter for some reason it's kind of like it's a smaller version so you can use so basically before we had this sort of situation and we had to go down there and use a big one of those now we can save a bit of space and just do that and it just it's a lot neater looking it's good for these sort of situations it's all a bit fiddly you're going around corners and it's just carnage but yeah so that's shapes.io shapers.io <laughs> shapers i hope you enjoyed that i really enjoyed playing it i might do another another video on it you never know it was good fun. I definitely recommend go check it out on Steam. It's only a few dollars, a few quid. I think it's like two pounds something if you're in the UK. But well worth a look. Really enjoyed it. And thanks to Tobias for sponsoring this video once again. Very kind of you. Cheers, guys. Catch you next time.